One request that I used to get quite a lot from clients, and well, still quite a lot now, is a horizontal scroll of text. So let's say you scroll down to a different section on your site and you want a title, but you just want it to look a little bit different. You want a little bit of movement on the page. So they always, well, not always, but sometimes they'd say, okay, well, let's jazz this up. Let's make it scroll. So can we have a certain title scrolling across the screen from one end to the other and just constantly loop? And I was like, yeah, okay, great. So I'd add it in. And basically the way the code worked was you had to copy and paste the text like 50 times. And then I'd apply some code to that to make that text constantly loop across the page. And it was a really hodgepodge way of doing things. But luckily, uh, I'd say maybe late last year, Squarespace rolled out the scrolling text block, which looks great. And there's a few things that we can actually do with it to jazz it up even further and really make our Squarespace sites pop. So what I'm going to do is show you where it lives. So how to find the block and then how to add it and apply it to your page. Okay, so we're in the website now. What we want to do is go into website and then we want to find the page that we've got that we're going to add the scrolling block to. So let's go to the about page, for instance. We then want to go edit and then we'll go down to a new section and we'll add a section in. Then we'll add a blank section. And then what we want to do is click add block. And you can see it says here scrolling. So if we click scrolling, it's going to come up like this. Double click and then we can change the actual content. So let me move it into the middle. We can change the content that's within. So if you want to move it about, you can do this. Obviously, that won't change anything here. But let's say you want to get rid, just click the bin. And if you want to edit the text, you can click in and then you can change it like this. So we can put that in like that. And then let's say we want to make another one. We can duplicate and we can change this to like a, a dash or something, for instance. And then we can duplicate that again. And then in between, I want to put something. So I'm going to click add item then i'm going to go in and i'm going to type what i want so put squarespace tutorials and then we don't want the two dashes next to each other we want them to split up so we drag and we drop like so and now you can see when i click off we've got squarespace tutorials sam is the best and if you didn't want to have any dashes you can do that as well so we'll get rid and i mean it looks like they're too close together so what we want to do is we want to add some space between them so if we click in design we can change lots about it so first off, I want to put some space between the text. Now to do that, we want to scroll down and we see item spacing here. So you can space them out by 3 EM. I'm going to do 1.5. And you can see like you can differentiate between what each section is. So we click in again and we go into design. You can see we can do a ton more. So we can actually make the text wavy like so. Looks a bit daft, but you know, each to their own. And then text style, we can make it smaller or larger, like so. Let's go with large. And if you click the three dots, you can be even more custom. Let's make it that. And then you can change the direction. So you can have it left or you can have it right. I'm going to make mine right. And then you can also change the speed, like so. Then pause on hover. So when we hover over, um, I'll have to go out of this actually to show you. But you can see when we hover over, it stops. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this. So I tend not to have that on. But what I do like if we click in is the fade on the edges. So if I click fade edges, now I think this looks good. And what we can then do is move it right to the side and then drag this to the side and the text just fades off the screen, which I think looks great. So if we click save and exit and let's have a look. So there we go. We've got our horizontal scrolling text. Now what I also want to do in this example is add a link. So if we double click again, you can add a link to the whole block. So I'm going to click in here and then I want to link from the about page to the contact page. So I'm going to put a forward slash. I'm going to put contact and then we'll hit save and exit. Now, when I go down to the block, you see it's going to change. And then what we can do is click and then that's going to take us to the contact page. And it's, it's honestly as simple as that. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.